Oh yeah. Do you like my hairy caterpillar? Um, it's been in demand lately. It's wiggly. It's hairy. It's squirmy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me talk to you about woolly bear caterpillars. Let me tell you a secret about woolly bear caterpillars. The, main, the name means nothing. You see, woolly bear is just a name that we use for a group of caterpillars that are woolly and hairy from the tiger moth family. Well, I should say subfamily because as of recently, because of taxonomic changes, the family they belong to has been made a subfamily of a different moth family. But let's not get into that, eh? That's too nerdy, that's too intellectual for YouTube. No, instead we're gonna talk about these cuties. How insanely adorable and awesome they are. This is called the garden tiger moth right here. Arctiacaia. It is one of my favorite species of moths to raise. In captivity. They are one of the first species of moths that I used to breed when I was a kid. Or at least when I was a beginner, when I was very young and into this hobby. And I love to breed them. Just gonna do some of their life cycle. I film it for YouTube. They're very to raise on stuff like dandelion, cherry, plantain. Don't worry about any escaping, this piece is native to my country, alright? Boy, would you take a look at these, eh? Would you take a look at these, oh yeah. So hairy, so caterpillary. Ooh, ooh boy. Ain't they doing just excellent? Just hairy. And just right. Feels good, babes. Feels good, babes. Just look at these beautiful tiger moths. Oh yeah. And we're gonna breed them. We're gonna breed them. They're fertile, they are breedable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Adorable, amazing, excellent. I am thriving, I am moisturized, I'm in my lane. Oh yeah, this is me, my element. Oh, I'm getting high. High of the Huruli bears. Oh yeah, boy. 